Hello everyone, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to program using uh, Lego's uh, programmable brick for the EV3 kit. So as you can see, I've just turned on my um, brick and right now it's in this screen. And um, on the top of the brick for the Output ports A, B, C, D. I've connected two large motors to ports B and C. Okay, so port B and C is connected to the two motors. And then down the bottom for the input ports, I have a touch sensor connected to port 1. Okay, port number 1 is connected to the touch sensor. So make sure you've connected all that up. And then once you've done that, uh, turn on the brick and then I'll show you how to program using the brick. So when you first turn your brick on, it should look something like this with a blank uh, sort of window in, on the display screen. Now if you press the left and right, they sort of act like arrow keys. And if you scroll down to the third tab, from the left and then you can use the up and down keys to go down to where it says brick program here is where you can write a program just using the brick so let's click the middle button to go go inside the program and right now you can see the program just has two blocks the first block is the starting block representing the start of the program and if you click the middle button, it will run this program right now. And if you go to the end block, basically this is uh, a uh, instruction saying how many times you want to repeat the program. And right now it's just repeating it once. And uh, if you want to change the settings of a block, you can press the middle button to select it. And then you can use the up and down arrow keys to change the setting. So right now you can make it repeat twice, three times, however many times you want. So we're just going to go back to once for now. And then now we're actually going to add something in the middle. So to add something in the middle, press the uh, press the up arrow key. And here is the list of things you can add to your program which we're going to call blocks. Each block is basically an instruction you can program into your robot. Now, uh, there are two different types of blocks listed here. Uh, the first type is an action block, which just makes your robot conduct an action. So let's start with that. Go to the bottom right hand corner. There is a block with two motors, a picture with two motors. So select that. And you can see here we've just added a block in between the start and the finish icon. And it says that we're going to move motors B and C forwards. Right? You can see the words B and C here indicating that um, we're moving the ports B and C as stated in the top here. That's port B and that's port C. You can't see it because of the wire. And then we're moving them forwards and then the the other instruction block we want to insert straight after this is how long we want to move this for so press the up key again and then we're going to go find the other type of block which is the weight block the weight block is indicated by the hourglass on the top right hand side of each block and we're going to the wait for a certain amount of time block. So we're going to press the middle button to insert it. So now you can see here in the programming, we've got the starting block. And on the right hand side, straight after the program starts, we're making the motor move forward. And then start straight after that, we're making it wait for two seconds. And then it finishes okay so we want to make the motor stop so um, you also need to program that in so press the up arrow key uh, go to the two motors 
press the middle button and then instead of forwards we're gonna uh, click into it again by pressing the middle mouse button and then we're going to press the downwards until we can see stop okay so this whole program works like this alright we start by moving it forward wait for two seconds stop it and that's it so let's see if it works so now we run the program by pressing the middle key okay so it moves for two seconds and then it stops now if you want to extend that time okay you can go to the clock and instead of two seconds you can uh, move it for actually you guys didn't see the motor because I should have moved it into the into the view so you can see it sorry so now I'm gonna change it to just uh, one second okay so it moves a little bit shorter so let's try this alright so let's move it now okay so both are moving for one second now what I want to do is move forward for one second wait one and then we're going to stop it so instead of stopping it instead of stopping it I want to move it backwards so I want to move it backwards for another two seconds so let's go up to the weight block another two seconds alright Actually, two seconds is a bit long. Let's just make it one second. Okay, so what's going to happen is it's going to move forwards. Right, so the program says I'm moving it forwards for one second. And then I'm going to move it backwards for one second. And I'm, re I'm only going to run this program once. So let's try running this. So let's run it. So did you see the wheel change rotation? Change the direction of rotation. So it starts rotating this way, then it ended up rotating that way. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Uh, now to save this program, you will go to the left hand side and choose this button here to save. So press the middle button and then let's call it a uh, useful name barely see what it says so small so just call it uh, Ed alright so go to the right yep okay so the program is called Ed so now let's go back up by pressing this key alright and if you go to the left uh, so go into the program and you can see that there is a program called Ed Alright, which you can just access by clicking this running it Alright, so just execute a program uh, if you don't want it anymore You can click it and press the rubbish bin there and it'll go away Okay, now let's get out of here so once you've had a play with this and you want to turn it off, just keep pressing this key. It's sort of like the escape button. And then when you're already at the top menu, press it again. And this means to turn it off. Press the right key and press the OK button. And that turns it off. Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.